A road upon the clouds makes a pathway onto the sunset. Blazing past the sky to ride the time to midnight. We are at Wilson Promontory National Park and we are about to do the Little Waterloo hike. Yes. It should take us seven to eight hours. And we have everything we own on our back. Yesterday, uh, we just kind of hung out. But, uh, the, the sunset was really cool. the weather totally turned for the worst the second day and it got like super high tide and flooded and our stuff almost all got wrecked. We're going to a totally secret beach. No one's ever heard of it, but it's Nobody. a hiking beach. And we're getting started right now. Here he, here he. Some would say that fate dictates the path we take. The inevitability of each footstep cemented in the time behind you. The future all but written as the mindless progression of inertia pushes you forward. Direction preset to destination. What even is the wrong direction if every road is connected? Every dead end, stop sign, dirt road, roundabout, U-turn comes to be the right way, eventually. The point that comes across incorrect with misconceptions is that it matters how long it takes you to get there. We're two hours in, and now we're starting the hike. Yeah. <laughs> to Waterloo. Life is not a race to an end. No ultimate goal and death at which we will achieve absolution. In stride, we take what fate makes of us, and in the end, all we have is our own thoughts. It's up to you to endure the physical steps mentally. The misery of circumstances may block your way. What but only doubt lays in the depths of dark shadows made by trees, an illusionary misdirectional anomaly. A seemingly insurmountable obstacle lays waste to your preconceived notion. To stop would mean death, and the fear that comes from living an unfulfilled life. Good thing we know there's no such thing as the wrong way. Milestone! Yeah! We see water. A little Waterloo. Our backs are starting to hurt. Reese's back is sweating. <laughs> it's honestly been pretty easy. A very casual walk-in. It's just I... long. I know I've said it before, but Wilson Promontory National Park has got to be one of my favorite places in Australia so far. It is the ultimate seclusion. You are surrounded by beautiful wilderness that is untouched for miles and miles. Surprise challenge. Close your eyes. You gotta keep your eyes closed and I'm gonna guide you along the path. <laughs> okay, all right. Hold Lift up, hold your up. leg up. There is a step. You're right on the stair. Okay, I do remember that. I do remember that. Yep. Okay. Nice. This keep is going. ultimate trust, babe. Keep going. Oh, this is okay, terrifying. wait, there's a. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Yep, you're stepping on a branch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jump over. What? Good, good. <laughs> Did I go all over right. it? All right, now you have to do a really long step. Are you messing with me? Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Okay. Good job. You got it. Ooh -hoo. Nice. Just ah! don't worry about it. What was that? Okay. Dude, it felt exactly like a spider web. Inch, You're not doing a very good job of directing slowly me. Slowly inch forward. Okay, now um. <laughs> oh god. There's a step. Okay. So. Follow my voice. Oh no, a snake! Oh Jesus! Okay. I'm not gonna talk. Should I walk just like normally? No, stop. <laughs> okay, there's a stop. <laughs> oh. See, I'm doing oh, the are same. Are you scared? <laughs> Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, you have to trust your partner, all right? Okay, my turn. All right, ready? All right, run, full speed ahead. Yeah, right. Yeah, left, now there's gonna be a small ways down here. Yeah. 
All right, now take four steps forward. You now have a fairly large step ahead of you. Now, you're really thirsty. You need to have a drink of water. He's so thirsty. Take my hand. No. We're gonna go a little no, faster. I don't like that. We're gonna go a little faster. You no. can't open your eyes. No. I got you, I got you. No. No, there's a step. <laughs> I know there's a step. You weren't gonna step. You weren't gonna tell What? Tap. I was gonna tell you. you. Uh -uh. Yes, I was. <laughs> Babe, you need to trust me. It's not fair that I trusted you. There may be no beginning or end to the path we walk, but it feels nice when we finally make it to a place like this. We're almost there. I'm still supposed to close my eyes, right? Yep. Okay. Don't, don't open. <laughs> Officially the longest I've ever walked to get to the beach. Better be worth it. Wow. That's pretty stunning. I know I am, thank you. Oh my. What a beach. The sand is white, so white, and the water is so blue. I've just like, I've Googled this moment. I've, I've looked at the photos and like, here we are, you know? We made it. I gotta take my shoes off. This is one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm sure that looked good. Ah! Eat, our, eat our sandwiches. Ah! <laughs> Little Waterloo is absolutely stunning, but what they don't show you is that you will be hunted down by the March flies. They are relentless. And unlike regular flies, they are huge and bite. call it heaven if you wanted to. Clear as blue waves on white sand, depth in fluffy clouds and dark green in dense forest. Bliss be as it may my mind to take, a beating heart the requisite for better days, a memory forever left by the bay. There's no home, no cars, no wealth that can scratch at the shore. The great equalizer of a four hour hike in a national park. Welcome to the truth that lays at the core of pure nature. All of our stuff has been overtaken by these bull flies. And every time we get close to it, they go everywhere, so. They're just very big flies, and their problem is, I wouldn't care so much, but they nibble, and they can also bite pretty hard. So it's like, it's they don't do it often, but that, it's just that PTSD is like, ah! Oh yeah, Reese, get a picture. <laughs> we came, we saw, we streaked. We were completely naked the entire time, so we couldn't really photograph it all. Um, people showed up, they got naked too. It was crazy. <laughs> it was like a whole party. We saw Napoleon. Yeah, he was a little bummed that we named the beach after him. Worst loss in the world, but you know. Waterloo. It's up this there with- and, This and Eden have been my favorite beaches so far. We're leaving because Ominous clouds. Plus, we have no food to survive. <laughs> anyway, now we have a polite walk home. Uh, just about three hours. Yeah. But we're gonna listen to our book, so. The beach was great. It wasn't all glamorous, though. Those bull flies, the worst. They're so annoying. Okay, the journey on. Bull ants suck. I might be appreciative of spiders now because I know that they kill them. These little sh heads. I was stung by a jack jumper ant the day before and it hurt so bad. 
They are huge and grasp their victims with their jaw and sting with their tail. They were mocking me on this walk. It's rough being a bull ant in the bull ant world. It started raining. I have the high ground, Anakin. There's nothing you could do. You underestimate my power. When is that happening? It's when he gets turned into a... You underestimate my power. You were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. I don't know what the next one is. You underestimate my power. I get the water be. Man, when I tell you my feet hurt. My feet hurt. Uh, I pushed my limit there. I feel like death. The last two hours are pretty brutal. Like you have to walk, you have to keep walking. We're gonna go make tacos. Ugh. Missy's gonna break up with me after that one. On Valentine's Day too, no less. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yum, 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 yum. Approach.